warm weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Candace King. After a little bit of a cool start this morning, it's turned out to be an absolutely gorgeous afternoon. Temperatures today climbing into the low to mid 60s. We had plenty of sunshine, just some fair weather cumulus clouds popping up here for today. But you may notice the cloud cover thickening up just a bit in a couple of spots, like on our uh, Mercy Hill Sky Track camera out here in Freeport at the Park Hills Golf Course. A little more cloud cover streaming in from the west, thanks to a storm system that is back to our west that will move closer to us later tonight and during the morning tomorrow. We're at 62 degrees in Rockford, 59 in Freeport, 60 in Monroe, and 63 our current temperature in Dixon. Our weather watcher numbers here, Ben, uh, Ken in Belvedere checking in at 61, Mike just north of Forreston also at 61, and Bob here the last hour in Rockford checking in at 63 degrees. Comfortable evening out there, a little bit of a breeze coming in from the north and northwest. We are going to stay dry for the next several hours. Really won't see that chance for rain increase until we get late tonight after midnight and more towards the morning hours. Area of low pressure pulling out of uh, southeast South Dakota, responsible for some stronger thunderstorms working through parts of Nebraska. You see one lone severe thunderstorm warning just southwest of Omaha. Couple of showers then to the east of that, but still some dry air. So not really seeing a whole lot of that reach the ground. And there is a bit of dry air that still needs to be overcome before we start to see some of that actually uh, reach the surface. So that means that the incoming rain isn't really going to be much. Notice the cloud cover that increases here. We're dry through about midnight and really we stay dry through likely about three, four o'clock tomorrow morning. By the time the sun comes up tomorrow, there are going to be some lighter showers that'll be coming down. These will last through mid morning. We'll actually start to see things clear out then and at least turn a partly cloudy sky for tomorrow afternoon. Little instability might pop an isolated shower tomorrow afternoon, but not everybody is going to see that. Another weak cool front coming in Thursday night brings in some cloud cover early Friday. Might get a quick light sprinkle, light shower from that, and then we dry out temperatures will climb into the low 60s for Friday afternoon. We need a little bit more rain. We're doing OK now for the month of April, but we go back to March and January and we are still pretty dry. Nothing more, I don't think, than a quarter of an inch unless we get a heavier rain shower to come through. But notice kind of ranging really from a few hundredths of an inch of rain up to maybe a quarter of an inch up to three tenths of an inch. Now, if we look at our latest drought monitor, the newest one will be issued tomorrow. We still see those drier than normal conditions here across much of northern Illinois and moderate drought condi conditions still persistent across southern Wisconsin. And as I mentioned, the rain we had on Monday helping out a little bit. But when we look at soil moisture, this is an anomaly. So how far above or below we are for our daily soil moisture. And you can see really kind of the bullseye here, uh, the red and the orange over Iowa and then over northeast Illinois and even extending into northern Illinois. And when we look at the percentile of this with in the 10% range of dry conditions across Northeast Illinois. So we are still fairly dry and of course we do need that rain. Unfortunately, while we've got a few rain showers, nothing that looks too significant over the next couple of days. So 45, that's where we end up tonight, 60 for tomorrow afternoon. It'll feel a little cooler out there too, but we should manage a bit more sunshine for the afternoon. 63 degrees on Friday. Watch Friday night, could see some patchy frost with that. Showers, at least the steadier rain, Mimi may actually bypass us south over the weekend. And then we've got a couple of nights next week where we could see those temperatures fall back into the 30s. All right. Thanks, Candace. Scott's in next to talk sports. He said